Hey guys, so it has been forever. Oh my goodness, I so miss making videos. Um, and of course, I've been promising to do a changing and a name announcement for my newest little guy here. And he has been patiently waiting for that. He's such a good and happy baby, guys. So I have formed my bond with this little guy. And I did reweigh him, and I also did change his body. Um, the body was nice. I just, I, I don't know what it is. I, I like, it was the really soft white body, but it kind of was um, a little different here. Uh, the way the positioning of the leg holes were, I didn't care for his shape. Um, but I'm sure I can find use for the body on a different baby. Anyhow, so he has been eating too, too much because he is almost a whopping eight and a half pounds, guys. Yes. <laughs> so he is definitely heavy. Um, but I like it. I like my babies on the heavier side, even though he is much smaller than Abigail. When I originally um, ordered this kit, I, as you guys know, his kit took forever to come out once he was released. Um, his pictures... Oh, hold on, my little boy's yelling for me. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. So where was I? I totally forgot. <laughs> How bad is that? Anyways, yes, he is a chunky monkey. Oh, yes, the size between him and Abigail. When I first saw him, I thought he would be a perfect twin for my Maisie, my Abigail. And I'm... You know, I'm not going to say that they can't be twins. Maybe she just got all the size and he was just the little one. So I am going to still consider them brother and sisters because they are in the nursery together. So I kind of wanted their names to somewhat go with each other. So originally, before he came, um, I had a name that I had picked out for him and I thought that would work out. And also I noticed when I did my box opening of this little guy, quite a few people did suggest that same name. A couple of things with it. Um, once he got here and I was trying to say it to, to him as just trying to get used to the name, uh, a couple of problems. I kept pronouncing it <laughs> different ways. Um, and it just, it to me, it does, doesn't fit him. Um, so... The name was Gabrielle or Gab Gabrielle. See, that was my problem. I always did it two, two different ways. And to me, it almost is a girl name. So it just, it didn't fit, even though I love the name prior to me opening him. So I am going to go ahead and tell you what his name is. I have decided that I'm going to do Anthony, but for short, I'm going to call him Andy. So it'll be Abby and Andy or Abigail and Anthony. So I like it, and I feel that he looks more like an Andy to me. I mean, look at that precious little smile on his tongue. I love this sculpt. I really, really do. Um, And I didn't know how I was going to feel about this curled up foot, but I really think it's cute, especially when you're positioning him for pictures. Um, I just think it's super sweet little difficult when you're putting shoes and stuff on them, but still super cute. So, um, I wanted to put a onesie, because this is the outfit that actually came in the box um, with him for his second outfit. It wasn't the one he was wearing, but it was what the artist had sent extra. And I had showed you a couple things that I went shopping for, and this was the outfit that I chose for him to... Uh, for his coming home outfit, even though he's been in this outfit <laughs> since I've had him. I have been super busy, guys. Um, I still have several babies left from my reborn cell, and I have sold a few. Um, there's one that I'm not sure. I thought she was sold, but I haven't heard back from her, so I'm not sure. But that was the, um, the blonde curly hair preemie from the, well, small newborn from the first six video. Um, but also baby five from that video and baby one and baby nine and ten has been sold but the rest are still available um, baby one I'm not going to tell you who adopted that baby but um, 
I consider her a good friend here in the YouTube Reborn community. And I'm putting some little details and touches, a little bit of touching up on that kit for her. But anyhow, I've been having fun doing that a lot. I really enjoy doing it, so I cannot wait to just start reborning a lot of my babies that I've been collecting as far as the kids. So now that I've got an area and a spot set up for it, I'm just super anxious to get started with that. So this was a good practice and, and um, a good time doing it. So I, now I know I really, really do enjoy it. Anyhow, I'm getting off subject, guys. It's just been so long. I haven't done a video. I have so much um, that I wanted to tell you and show you. It's just been a lot. And like I said, I enjoy doing these videos. So hopefully I can figure out this lighting situation. As you can see, it's not so good. And it's crazy. Let me see if I can show you. I ha I bought this little lamp. It only cost me five something. And it's an LED lamp, so I've got it over him. And even though this changing table is right in front of a window, it's horrible lighting. I've never seen anything like it. And over here, which you can't really see in the camera, but on this side, you see the pole right there? That is a two light standing. Um, uh, it's like has two different separate lights on it. And it's still not enough lighting. I actually have the... Um, shoot the flash on this I actually have the light on my camera too and it's just not picking up his details at all I mean he is so much more blushing and rosy in person that you cannot see and you cannot see his beautiful blue eyes which is quite amazing with all this lighting that you're not getting uh, his true look which is crazy guys I cannot believe so he's got a little bit of uh messy hair from being on the pillow. Let's see if I can get him where you guys can see him a little better. Look at that. How adorable is he? Anyhow, so I want to put these shoes on him and that outfit. I'm going to pause while I take all the tags off so that way you don't have to sit and watch with all that. Plus, I'm limited on time. So let me get all the tags and hangers off the outfit and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I want to get started and get this little guy dressed. Hopefully you can see him really good because I'm not going to be able to see what you guys see now that I'm at the end of the table. He's my little heavy guy, I'll tell you that. So I've got size 2 diapers on him, which seemed to be a little, little high, but fit him good on his little tush. He has the chunkiest legs like his sister Abigail. And that's what I really love about this sculptor. She has those really chunky, chunky legs. Let me see if I can fix his diaper a little bit. So you can see what body. I believe this body actually went to, I think it's a 22 or 23 inch body. It actually went to, I want to say Saskia body. I could be wrong. I have a little fuzz or something there. But yeah, I, I feel that it fits his length. I, I really do think um, this body fits him really nicely. And I like where the holes for the legs are positioned in this body better than I did the other body for his sculpt with the legs being so big. On the other one, I felt like it, you know, they kind of just sticking out like. I don't know how to explain it. Um, even with the weight, it just seemed like they were sticking always out, like kind of like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But this way, he's very um, easily able to position, um, which I like better. So, let me see. And I love how she did a little bit darker this time on his eyelashes so they are visible. I really like that. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about that, but I actually really like it. And of course, you're not seeing anything that I am. I have to figure out what to do as far as, I definitely know I want to um, move the changing table, but I'm trying to figure out where would be the best place to move it so the lighting is casting from the window. Because I think what the problem is, is we're right in front of the window so we're not truly getting 
the light from it because we're just right here. If we was maybe across the room, which is where I'm set up to reborn, so I can't put there. So I just have to kind of figure out the good medium of where the changing table should be. So I was thinking maybe where I have my, um, my cube storage area, I was thinking maybe put it there and put the cubes here against the wall. So that's the first thing you see when you, you come in, which is a good idea. I just wish you guys could see, I mean, I don't know if he's being washed out because I have so many lights on him now, but he almost looks like he has no paint through here. And he has a lot of really pinkish blushing in his feet and hands, and I'm just not seeing it here. I do have some pictures of him posted up on my Instagram page. So if you want to see his color better, his true color better, um, that's probably the best place to be able to see it. I know there was a couple pictures I took when it was dark, so they weren't the greatest pictures, but at least you could see his color a lot better than what you're seeing in this video. So anyhow, um, what house have you missed? I've just been homeschooling my kids, so that's been taking a lot of my, my time, as you guys know. So that kind of takes my day away. I usually don't get uh, Tommy's school wrapped up until about 4 p.m. And then by the time dinner and everything's over, it's pretty much dark. So there's why I really don't get a chance to film videos during the day. Now the weekend's a different story, but it's been super busy the last couple weekends to where I just haven't had the time to do so. But I'm trying to figure out a way where I can fit in, and I'm not promising that today, but I want to make it to where I'm at least doing one video a day. And, and not just for you guys, but just because I enjoy it, and I feel like, what's the point if I don't do something every day that I enjoy, right guys? <laughs> so I had another ideal. Because I do have so many babies, I thought it'd be kind of neat if I made a schedule almost. I mean, I want your guys' input about this, so please comment below what you think about this. Oh, I forgot a tag. Um, basically, make a schedule to where every baby in my nursery has their, their time. So I kind of for a couple reasons. That way I don't leave any babies out and they all get to be put on camera. And also they're not sitting there just collecting dust and sitting in the same outfit for months. And also for you guys, for those of you that have a favorite baby, you guys would know when to tune in. So let's say, this is just a for instance, let's say this little guy, his day was Wednesday. And you guys would know, hey, you know, Andy's going to be filming on Wednesday, so you know to be looking for a video. I don't know. I just thought this might be a good idea. I don't know. I'd definitely like to hear what you guys think. Um, if you think it's silly, then just tell me it's silly. <laughs> but I just think it would be a, a good way to rotate the babies and um, get more videos out. And for like I said, for those of you that have a favorite baby, you would know when to tune in or when that baby will be getting their own video. Now, usually I wouldn't want to put socks on with the, with these kind of shoes, but um, it does have the jean material. I don't know if you guys can see. I guess you guys can't inside of there. So I am going to put these low cut socks on him, just in case. I mean, even if it's a fake jean which I don't know if these shoes are going to fit him, but we are going to try. Um, just because they do fit tight, or at least I know these will, because his feet are a little bit bigger. But as far as the bottom, it looks like it's his side. Oh, look! <laughs> that is adorable, guys. Do you see that? <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, yeah. Now, this is the foot that... It's kind of weird with shoes. That's the only thing. I love the look of the foot why um, it has no shoe on it, of course, for just, especially if he has his feet up like this, it definitely looks like he's, you know, kicking or playing with his feet. But shoes kind of look a little silly. 
just a little but we're still going to try to get this shoe on him I know his other one was a little bit more difficult because of the curve so I'm not sure if it's even going to go on guys oh there I got it we got it kind of reminds me of the Grayson kit from Bonnie Brown because his feet are really turned in like that and also now the Levi I haven't I do have the kit, but I haven't really put it together to see how far his feet turn in. But I know that they're probably both really like this shape. So, which I think is super cute. Because most babies hold their feet like that when they're newborn. Now, I noticed that I kind of thought he would just be um, be able to wear new, like larger newborn. Now, this is 0 to 3, and I thought maybe it was looking a little big, but... I think the shorts fit him really nice. They go right there to the knee. So I think I think this one's okay. I was kind of scared it was going to be a little too big. Um, but I think it's fitting pretty nice. I don't you don't want them to be skin tight, especially on the boys. You want them to be a little baggy. I got it caught on something. He's so heavy. It's hard to pick him up when I'm across the table, huh? My chunky little monkey. Yes, he is. My little chunky monkey. Look at this. How adorable is this, guys? Oh, my goodness. Look at you. So this is cute just like this. Um, not even with the jean jacket on it. But I'm going to put it on him anyhow because I think it's going to be super adorable. I love that this was a three piece and I got it for such a reasonable price. Look at his messy hair. His messy hair. Oh, look at him, guys. I don't know if you could see him real close. Look at them beautiful eyes. Isn't he just gorgeous, guys? All right. Let's see what he looks like. His little jean button up. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to like bend over the table here to, oh, look at him. He's my little preppy guy. What do you guys think? <laughs> Say hi, guys. Mwah. Super sweet. That's what I think. So stinking cute. I want to leave it unbuttoned, so I'm trying to get it to kind of hang. Oh, goodness. Look at him. So there he is, guys. I'm just going to leave his hair a little messy today. So that's okay for us boys. We can be messy. <laughs> and I think the pacifier that came with him will match this outfit pretty good. Oh, yeah. What do you think, guys? So, yeah, please let me know what you think about his name, Andy. Um... Also, let me know, too, what you think about um, me doing the schedule as far as um, rotating the babies on a certain day. Um, and, you know, let me know what you truly think. It won't hurt my feelings. If you think it's goofy, tell me it's goofy. But if you um, like it and you have some other details or ideals that you would like to add to it, please let me know. I'm open to any suggestions. So, oh, I did have a request for this. So I'm going to grab um, Abigail so you could see the size difference. Oh, I dropped her pacifier. Ugh. Because there is definitely a size difference. But let me see how I'm going to be able to do this. Okay. Let me see here. I'm going to move the light Oop, out of the way a little bit. Oh, heavy guy. <laughs> now, I know last time where he is so heavy, his head was just not wanting to stay up. So I had to, like, position all oh, guys hearing and seeing anything. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, so Abigail's all leaning back, too. Let me get her set up. 
So as you can see now, she's not being held up all the way. Let me see. You still can't see, can you? Her head is definitely a lot bigger. As you guys can see, she has a lot bigger head than her bubby. But, yeah, and her legs are a pinch fatter. If you guys can see, she's definitely longer. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, they have the same body. I could be wrong. Um, but, either way, she's definitely a big girl compared to... Let me see if I could turn this light on. Oh, I'm sorry, because it looks like it's putting light where it shouldn't be. Okay. So you definitely can see the, the size difference in these two, especially in the head, is where I noticed the big part of um, the difference. And definitely, see, she looks yellow in this, and you you guys already know she definitely does not have any yellow in her. So yeah, my lighting is horrible, guys. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> Anyhow, let's give them their passies. And I think I can uh, modify him some like this. I just haven't gone around to making him some pacifiers. Hold on, I'm about to come over here. I don't wanna knock her over. But I, I think this is my favorite pacifier for her. But I found some, Ger I think it's Gerber brand, um, that kind of match, so I do wanna make those for these two but there they are guys abby and andy or abigail and anthony so there they are but okay guys i'm gonna go for now if i have time hopefully i can come back on with another video keep in mind i still have those reborns for sale and i'm hoping to do a video soon i know i've been saying this a lot but on the two toddlers that i have for sale and also my silicone yes guys as I said, I've decided to sell my silicone, so I do need to do uh, a video on her. Even though you've, if you go back in my videos, you can see uh, a couple videos with my silicone and probably even my toddlers in the video. So um, you can go back and search for those. So if you're interested, please email me. Um, G's Tiny Toes Nursery at AOL.com. It's all together, no capital no capital, all lowercase letters. So, yeah, so if you're interested in the Reborns that I have for sale, please contact me, and don't forget to comment below what you think. And if you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. If not, I will see you later, guys. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye.